Synthetic versus natural. What is the difference between synthetic materials and natural materials? Natural materials are those that are found in our environment. They come from plants, animals, or the ground and undergo little change. Synthetic materials are natural materials that have been chemically altered in a laboratory or factory. So is one better than the other? Well, there's lots of debate on this topic. But first, let's look at the main purpose of creating synthetic materials. Some synthetic materials are chemically identical to a natural material. Take this vitamin C here. Vitamin C is a chemical naturally found in oranges. Chemists can also synthetically create vitamin C in a laboratory. The compounds are identical and have the same properties. Our bodies cannot tell the difference between vitamin C from an orange or vitamin C from a pill. Other synthetic materials are not chemically identical to a natural material, but serve a similar purpose. Sugarcane is harvested to produce the sugar we use to sweeten our food and drinks. Artificial sweeteners are synthesized in a laboratory. They are not chemically identical to sugar, but serve the same purpose of sweetening our food and drinks. Because they have a different chemical makeup, our bodies will treat them differently from natural sugar. Now, natural materials again come from plants, animals, and the ground. They occur naturally in our environment whereas synthetic materials take natural materials and chemically alter them to create a new substance in a laboratory or factory. There are many pros and cons to using synthetic material or natural material. And as a consumer, it is your job to do your research using reliable resources to create your own opinion about whether the natural material is better than the synthetic material. Thank you for watching another Adventures in iSTEM and Beyond video. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications for more Adventures in iSTEM and Beyond videos. For more ideas on how to incorporate science, technology, and skills for life into your classroom, go to adventuresinistem.com.